Oh, hey, what's up? I'm Danny. This is Southern California Comics Weekly Video Update. I am here solo once again, as I will be forever and ever now, now that Matt is gone. But, I'm here with cool stuff, like all these uh, old Wildstorm comics color separations. They're pretty cool, um, and they're all heavily discounted because no one wanted to buy them. So, you should come pick these up. There's some cool, uh, cool old comics production material if you want to see a color separations from a random issue of Wildcats, which I know you want. Or some, uh, some swimsuit paintings. I don't know, do people still like those? I, I mostly find them funny, but they're definitely worth $18. No, excuse me, $5. Yeah, you should definitely buy that. So anyway, <laughs> uh, comics are out. I'm going to tell you about them, but only the ones that came out this week. Because we, we try to stay current here at Southern California Comics Weekly Video Update. That needs a better title, but I'm not going to give it one. Axis number seven is out. Um, more of the same, I suppose. Your heroes are now bad guys, and your bad guys are heroes. Except for the ones that are still bad guys and the ones that are still heroes. Yeah, um, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Andy, Adam Kubert art, the other Kubert. Um, there's a cool decapitation. Bad guys around the table, lots of punching. It is the first part of the third chapter of this comic. They're very confusing, these comics, but we're going to get to the good stuff. We're going to get to the good stuff. Like right now. Oh, snap. Valiant number one. The Valiant number one, which is a self-contained four-issue crossover miniseries from Valiant Comics. They know how to do it right. It's a, it's a nice looking, it's a really nice package. Very great art by uh, Paulo Rivera. This is by Jeff Lemire and Matt Kent. And it's got a uh, Bloodshot, it's got Exo Manowar, it's got the Eternal Warrior, it's got Archer and or Armstrong, I'm not sure. Well, I think one of them might be left out. The one that doesn't look like John Goodman. I didn't see him in this, but I only flipped through quickly. Just a four issue mini, don't have to read anything else. But you should, because his violent comics are actually pretty good. All right, one of my, one of my new favorite comic books is out. Uh, Shutter number seven, and it comes with a bazillion variant covers, just like it did for number one. This, is, this one's probably my favorite. It's by John Workman, the famous letterer, who I didn't know could draw, but he can draw really well, and I'm buying this cover. This one by uh, Ray Fox, and then there's the uh, the normal cover by Leila Del Duca. Um, it's about Kate Christopher. She's an adventurer, well, former adventurer. She grew up. She stopped doing it, but her past is coming back to haunt her. So she's on the run. She has a Felix the Cat Clock, who can talk. That's pretty cool. Just like all kinds of stuff that you'd never see in movies. Like, they will never make a movie of this because it's completely unadaptable. So read it in comics and enjoy it. I believe, as much as I enjoyed this Shutter cover, I feel like cover of the week goes to Batgirl number 38. No, 37. Batgirl number 37, which is so shiny that they didn't even need, like, a holographic cover or anything. It's... It's great. The, uh, the big reboot of Batgirl continues, with amazing art by uh, Babstar. And in this issue, there are some Batgirl impersonators. Yeah. And the real Batgirl wants to figure out why. And she goes out on the town. There's some, some great dresses if you're into costume design. There's a... All right, now let's see that, let's see that cover Batgirl in, in the comic still shiny and amazing like it's, it's so great how they pulled that off modern comics coloring it's not always bad sometimes it's really good and Batgirl's a lot of fun so you guys should pick that up because I am and you should always pick up what I buy for example the uh, the big pick of the week is bitch planet which ha, I get to curse on a video that's great um it's by Kelly Sue DeConnick who did Captain Marvel and uh, what's the other one uh, pretty deadly really good sort of Western type thing. This is actually a sci-fi comic. It is a sci-fi comic set in a prison. An all-women's prison on... I don't know if the planet's called Bitch Planet. That seems like it'd be excessive, but... It's kind of got the old exploitation movie vibe. Like the caged heat, big bird cage kind of thing. And, uh... Yep, it's dirty. It's... It looks really fun. It's got a pink hologram lady. It's got tons of nudity, so do not show this to a child. 
I am very much looking forward to reading it. Like, imagine if Orange is the New Black was in space, and this is what, you're, what you got. And it's got a better title. So, that's all my picks for this week. Let's say we move on to a new segment. You like those, right? I have to do them, so you better. Alright, segment two. And it's going to be a quick one, because I only have a couple books to talk about. So, our my pick of the week was uh, Bitch Planet by Kelly C. DeConnick and Valentine DeLandro. I figured uh, it's a good time to talk about Kelly Sue DeConnick's other books, because she's pretty good. She writes really fun comics. For example, her, uh, her biggest superhero work is actually Captain Marvel, the former Ms. Marvel, Carol Danvers. Um, this is the, there were two series of this, car this version of her by Kelly Sue. Um, this is the second series, which is still going on. Uh, it's got more of a, a spacey, like, cosmic vibe. By which I mean she goes into space more. Rocket Raccoon is in it. She hangs out with the Guardians of the Galaxy. As, as pictured here. Um, it's, a, it's a fun read. The, the art by David Lopez is really good. And one of the problems with the first volume of Captain Marvel was that uh, the art wasn't so good. Like, sometimes it was really good. Sometimes some of the artists were kind of bad. But so far, I think David Lopez has drawn all of this. And it's a really solid read. Um, my favorite thing she's done ever is actually Pretty Deadly, which is from Image Comics. This is the first trade. It's ten bucks. We have a bunch of copies at the store if you want to pick it up. It is a, a weird western kind of thing. It's got gunfighters. It's The plot isn't entirely clear. Um, it has kind of a mythical, mythical feel to it, but it's definitely, it definitely feels like a western as well. It's, it's hard to pin down. I, I, don't even, I don't know if anyone could explain what it's about, but it's really entertaining. The art is great. Like, check this out. This is just nature type stuff, but it looks glorious. The art, the art is actually by Emma Rios, who uh, Kelly Sue's worked with before on Captain Marvel. Gunfighting is good. Like, check that out. Like, that, is, that is quality stuff. And it is very well worth picking up, even if you don't quite understand it like I don't. But... It's good. And uh, as you might imagine from the creator of Bitch Planet, it is not for children. So do not give this to a child. I'm out. I'm done. I have no more comics to talk about until next week. So see you later and bye.